Hey guys, it is Monday the 22nd of May and I'm going to eat my first meal now. Um, I have some, I don't know how to film this, but I have some overnight oats. I put three fourths of a cup of the dry oats with a, um, one cup of water yesterday and I added a tablespoon of the raisins as well. And I'm just going to chop up half, uh, one half of my apple and I'm going to add a little bit of my vanilla sugar and hopefully that won't taste too bad but I'll let you know it's not very sweet it's a bit plain but I want to be very careful with my vanilla sugar I don't want to use the whole packet I just want to use half so um, I'll keep it at this I think I'll get used to this level of sweetness um, soon enough so yeah, this will be my breakfast big bowl. Hopefully that will keep me going for a couple of hours. Hey guys, it is now almost 12.30 and I just want to give you a little update on what's happening. So my breakfast halfway through, I didn't really feel like eating anymore. Not because it tasted bad, it was just very plain. So I didn't want to eat more because I don't know, I just didn't, fun. I didn't feel like eating more. I didn't feel very hungry. So I, um, Covered it up, put it in the fridge, and then a few hours later I felt hungry again and then I ate the rest of it. Anyway, I want to show you what I'm making. I am working on making some kind of uh, buns. So what I'm doing is I am uh, preparing some kind of bread dough. I put some of the white flour in here and some uh, oat flour because I put one of my bags of oatmeal, I put it into my blender and I blended it up into a flour. So I have um, like a whole grain flour. Uh, I put that in here, I put some yeast and um, a bit of the vanilla sugar and salt and water and so I've let that rise for an hour now and now I'm just going to add in the raisins and let it rise for another hour and afterwards I can bake it and hopefully I'll have 12 delicious little bun type things that I can take with me to work because tomorrow and the day after I work. I picked a week where I didn't have to work many days because that would make everything easier. Hey guys, I'm going to eat my lunch now, which is this. I guess I've been calling it congee, but it's more, I guess, a risotto, if anything. So I will have a taste now. It's really hot still. It's actually surprisingly tasty. I think I really picked the right um, uh, vegetable stock cubes because these have a lot of flavor. They have herbs and stuff added to them as well. So, yeah, it's not bad at all. I feel kind of weird. I feel like <laughs> it should be less tasty, the food that I eat this week. But it's it's fine. So I will eat a bowl of this and uh, move on with my day. Hey there, it is 3.30 and I've baked something. So these were the things that I was planning on baking. Taste one now. It's really delicious. Hello, hello, it is uh, 6.30 and I made myself some pasta. Uh, so this is the whole wheat pasta that I got um, and I put uh, some of my sauce in there. I made enough for three days, so I used 300 grams of the pasta um, and then I just boiled that and then in a different pan I just put some of the carrots and some of the spinach and I uh, bo boiled that in some water and I added half of a, a vegetable stock cube just to give it a bit more flavor and then I used 300 grams of my sauce so I have left over so uh, yeah this is it um, I am going to taste it The taste is actually quite good. It's a bit dry because there's not so much sauce, but it's all right. It will do. So <laughs> my parents are eating this and my brother, potatoes and the green beans. And my mom has a vegan burger. And they have all these yummy things and I wish I could join them, but I'm not complaining. I have food and um, it will, it will do, it will work. So yeah. Good morning guys. It is now the morning of Tuesday. Um, and I just want to give you a little update on how it went last night. 
so I was pretty it was going pretty well yesterday and then in the afternoon after I'd eaten my little raisin buns I started to get pretty hungry pretty soon after that um, and then I had my dinner which was fine but then afterwards I still felt like I wanted to eat something nice um, and um, yeah I was, I was just hungry I was a bit hungry rest of the evening and I, I thought about eating something else like oatmeal or something but I just I didn't feel like having oatmeal so I didn't <laughs> and so I went to bed but I was feeling a bit sad and a bit like discouraged and I was like I'm probably just undercarbed it's probably just what it is um, because I had um, calculated beforehand how many calories I would get with what I was planning on buying um, and I was supposed to get like 2,000 calories a day if I just ate one seventh of all my ingredients every single day um, but obviously yesterday I didn't eat one seventh of all my ingredients I ate less than that so the uh, total came to like 1500 a bit over 1500 calories which is not enough for me um, so you know I need to <laughs> I need to just eat a bit more of the food even though it's a bit bland I need to eat just slightly more um, and so yeah, today I um, am going to go to work, so I'm going to have some oatmeal, I'm going to put half banana in it, but I'll show you that in a second, uh, and then I'm just going to have to bring food with me for lunch and for dinner, um, because I'll be working from 11 to 7.30, so I'll be having lunch at work, um, and then I'll have a, uh, hopefully a break to have a little snack as well, so then I'll eat my raisin buns. And then in the evening, I'm going to a friend's house straight after work. So I'm going to bring my sad spaghetti with me <laughs> and then heat it up at her place and then eat that. I've been reading your comments on my first video about this challenge. And a lot of people are saying that I should have gotten beans or lentils. And I did think about getting lentils at first. But the thing is though, they're not that cheap for starch that is. Um, they're quite expensive, just like potatoes. Potatoes are really expensive right now. Um, lentils are maybe a bit cheaper than that in terms of calories that you get for it because I just calculated how many calories I would get for what price and I found that the cheapest that I could find for lentils for instance was 99 cents um, for like 300 or 400 grams of it which I felt like wasn't enough <laughs> I should show you what my chronometer looks like for yesterday I'll do that now here we are in chronometer and you can see everything that I ate on Monday uh, and the total came to 1549 calories uh, which is not enough for me uh, and I got 7% of my calories from fat, 10% from protein and 82% from carbohydrates and I'm at 72% of my targets um, if I had you know had my vitamin D and vitamin B supplements which I um, usually take, I would have hit 76%. Uh, but as you can see, a lot of vitamins and minerals are lacking and even the protein is lacking a little bit, mainly in lysine. Uh, the other ones I probably would have gotten 100% of if I just eaten more calories. Alright guys, I made my um, oatmeal. This time I just used a whole cup of oats, so 100 grams. Uh, and I used, oh, <laughs> it's a bit warm, uh, I used 15 grams of raisins again, which is about a tablespoon, I used two cups of water, I used half a banana this time because even though they're not really ripe yet, look, it's not really ripe yet, but I just, I felt like I needed the sweetness in my oats, you know, it's not entirely unripe. You can smell the stage of your banana and uh, it smelled okay to me. So uh, yeah, that is in there too. And then the other half of the uh, bag of vanilla sugar that I used yesterday for my um, breakfast. And that uh, is uh, my breakfast. All right guys, I finished my oatmeal. I just put it in the sink and it was so bland. <laughs> I, was, I was really force feeding myself. I was just eating it because I knew that I had to. I don't know if I'll get used to this. Maybe I will because I, I could barely taste the banana but maybe tomorrow I will anyway I'm proud of myself because I ate it and that means that I've almost had 500 calories for breakfast which is good and here I have my uh, big pots 
of the food that I made yesterday. I'm going to put that into um, containers to bring with me. And I also have the buns that I made, so I'll take four with me to work. And that is what I'll eat. I don't think I'll be filming anymore today uh, because I'll probably be home a bit late. Um, so I will just see you tomorrow and I'll let you know how it went. Good morning everyone. It is now Wednesday the 24th of May and uh, I have my breakfast here. It is oats, of course. And um, they're a bit too hot to eat right now, so I'll just give you a little update about how yesterday went. So, um, <laughs> I don't want to whine um, because this is a challenge, but I also, I want to be honest about my experience, so I may just whine a bit. You've been warned. Um, yeah, so after my dreadful breakfast that was not tasty at all and that made me quite nauseous, but I ate it anyway, um, I went to work and then I had my lunch spaghetti and at first it was fine actually I quite enjoyed it but halfway through I didn't want to eat anymore I was quite done with it uh, but I you know I forced myself to eat all of it so I was eating even though I was nauseous and then at the end I was you know really glad that it was over just like with my breakfast I was really happy that it was over and then my second break I ate my uh, raisin buns which were a bit like they got a bit stale so they weren't as good anymore so I didn't feel like eating all of them, but I forced myself once again to eat my food even though I was nauseous. And then in the evening I heated up my food at my friend's place. It was quite a lot and um, I didn't I didn't finish it because I was halfway through, or not even halfway through, like <laughs> at a third of it I was nauseous again. Didn't want to eat it anymore, but I kept going because I needed, I felt like I needed the food so I should just eat it. Um, and my friend, she was just having like a very simple salad. Um, but goodness, I was so, I was so jealous of her. <laughs> and she had some mango that she put in the salad, like some chopped up mango. And she's like, oh, have some mango. So I had one piece of mango and oh my gosh, it was so good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yesterday wasn't the best day. But I was just thinking, you know, maybe, um, you know, first day wasn't so bad. Yesterday was you know it was quite bad I mean there's worse things that could happen to you than eat really bland food that makes you really nauseous but it wasn't fun at all so um, I was just thinking maybe because yesterday was so unpleasant maybe you know it means that I'm going getting through the, the worst and then it's going to be easier hopefully uh, but yeah I have decided that I'm not going to force myself to eat food that makes me nauseous again um, because it's just it's not a pleasant way to <laughs> to live so what I've done this morning with my oats is I have um, used half the amount of oats like dry oats that I did yesterday so I just used one cup then I just used water and I used the same amount of raisins 15 grams uh, the other half of my apple that I had from the first day of the challenge uh, and then I used a whole packet of vanilla sugar not half a packet anymore just a whole packet and now uh, it's it's much better uh, yeah so that is my update I will um, let you know how it goes I will just be eating probably my lasagna or not lasagna spaghetti for lunch and then you know have the raisin buns again and then I can come home and prepare you know heat up the rice and then tomorrow so I'll basically be eating the same things I ate yesterday and the day before uh, and then tomorrow I'll be able to make some new things with the food that I have I do have some ideas but I'll show you that by then so I don't know if it's very interesting to show you more for this day uh, I think I'll leave it at this I hope you enjoyed this video in some kind of way uh, and uh, I will see you in a couple of days when I give you the next update bye for now <laughs>